In this video, I attempt to beat the game of Minecraft while being extremely tiny. Smaller than even a block. Can I do it? Watch till the end to find out. And here's the comment of the video. Remember to comment down below if you'd like to be featured and subscribe to get out of that yucky unsubbed club. A like would be nice too. Maybe six likes on this video? Enjoy. Oh my goodness, I have no idea how I am going to attempt to beat Minecraft being this tiny. Look at me, I am literally smaller than the size of a leaf block and uh, the entire world around me is ginormous. And there's a skeleton right there in front of me and if that hit me, that would be very devastating and he's pointing his arrow to He's actually coming to me right now. No, 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 please, skeleton. I've just started this off. Let me have a chance. So obviously in tiny mode, a lot is different and a lot of how we're gonna play the game is going to be different. So if I open my inventory here, you're gonna see I have all of these chiseled bit bags and you're probably wondering what on earth is that? Well, if we go into our side panel here and we search chisel, you will see a set of tools. Well, there's a stone chisel, an iron chisel, a golden chisel, and a diamond chisel. These are small people tools, okay? So basically, if I walk around the world, I mean, we're gonna have to get our first piece of wood somehow, so we are gonna have to break it with our fists, and hopefully we don't get shot by that skeleton. If I attempt to break a block, look how slow it takes, because I'm freaking tiny. Like, look at me. This wood is bigger than me. It's, I shouldn't even be able to break this thing, but finally, I broke it and finally I have the wood and I'm only gonna have to do that a couple times because that's what we have these chisels for But look man, this is like a freaking jump jumping from one block to the next. It's huge Whee! But if you look at my health, I have double the health obviously because everything's gonna do a lot more damage to me And again, I don't know how possible this is gonna be. I'm giving it a whirl, but it's mine Wow, we have a village right in front of us. Okay, that actually might help us because we might have a blacksmith Please have a blacksmith. I think I see a blacksmith right there in the middle yes we could get iron armor right off the bat that's actually guys i don't think you understand every little thing we do in this challenge is going to be completely and atrociously hard so this is where the chisels come in look now i am below this block level how am i gonna get up here how like how is that gonna work well now we have to dig down a bit guys and even digging down is super super skill oh my gosh the terrain unloaded around me i thought i was in trouble for a second we have to get to stone we have to get at least one piece of stone okay so here it is once we mine this piece of stone we're looking a lot better so we'll mine it and there it is stone age we'll have to mine the one next to us too and put a crafting table down right here. And if we put this stick in the crafting table with a cobblestone, we get a stone chisel. So this is actually perfect, okay? So now you're gonna understand why we have these chiseled bags. If I begin to use this, look, we're actually mining little holes in the terrain. And this is how us as a small person is going to move around in this Minecraft game. So now we have to make our way all the way up to the surface. Now the thing is though, is these stone chisels, they run out of durability quick. Like I've already used a thousand like durability on it and that's not even gonna last me all the way up till the surface. So I need to get to like a diamond chisel and that's gonna be probably one of the hardest parts of this challenge. But as you can see, this bag is already filled up with a lot of stone, a lot of dirt because if we go ahead and put this in our hot bar and we open it up, that's all the little chisel bits we just mined with this chisel thing. So like every cube we're doing is like a ton of chisel bits and so we have all these bags to fill them up over the course of this challenge. And here we are. And now we can get across this obstacle because we couldn't before. Now we use our chisel. It's already broken, but we have a couple more. Yes, it looks like we have a wheat farm here. Beautiful. Let's get ourselves a lot of bread. Food is going to be very important in this thing. So this, we can just break with our fists, okay? It's going to drop on the ground as like very, very small items, but that's not a problem. We can just use our crafting table, make that into a bunch of food. Food. So food, actually, we're pretty good on right now. All right, please be something good. Yes! Okay, we have two iron ingots. That means two iron chisels, and we have an iron sword, and we have an iron chest plate with two apples. Okay, I can go ahead and gear myself up a little bit without having to mine all that iron, because that's going to take forever. And after I break a bit of wood, we can craft two iron chisels. Guys, I this is huge. This is actually massive, because the stone ones suck. I mean, the iron ones still only have like, I mean, 
We have a bit more durability, a lot more. It's gonna help us in the caves quite a bit, but we definitely want this diamond one. That's the goal. Craft ourselves a stone axe and let's farm all of these books, baby. Oh yeah, dude, look how small they are falling down. I'll take all of them, literally every single one. I mean, we're probably gonna get enchanted. I mean, everything we do in this is going to be the same pretty much, but we're just really small. So there's gonna be gigantic creepers and stuff coming after us, which I mean, I think I'm ready to go down into the caves. And there it is. No, 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 no. I can't defend myself against this guy. No, 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 no. This is like the hardest thing in Minecraft right now. Look how big this creeper is. No! Oh, okay, it didn't come into my radius. Bro, these caves are gonna be difficult. Oh, and what do we got here? Is this a cave? Is this a huge deep one? <gasps> Looks like it goes down. Okay, we have to be, oh gosh. Okay, wait, 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 before we go down, we do just need to load up on some wood real quick. Quickly make ourselves a stone pick and let's start collecting all this iron to get geared up. I hear zombies down there and that's not good. Smelt up all this lovely iron. Look at us going, guys. We're on a roll here, being tiny does not affect us whatsoever. So let's go ahead and make an iron pick. Now we can mine diamonds and gold when we need it. Isn't it iron pick? Hey, we actually have enough to make a pair of iron leggings as well. I'm gonna keep the rest of it left over because we already have the iron sword. This is the part of the video where things are going to start becoming a little scary. We've had it all pretty good up to this point. I don't know where it leads where. And is that a creeper? Oh my gosh, run! Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm only half ironed, bro. Is there also a skeleton in there, I heard? Dude, this is gonna be very bad. It's not going to be easy. <gasps> All right, hold your breath, Graze. We'll grab the rest of this iron here, though. What lurks beneath here? Oh, okay. All right, well, the, the creeper didn't get to us. Can the skeleton get to us? We do have full iron, so it's like the same as if we were a normal human. I'm just gonna go in and teach the skeleton who's boss. Come here, brother. Oh, oh, he's actually hitting me. We're in a battle. This is ridiculous. This is so <laughs> foolish. Okay, but he was doing damage to me. He was taking down some hearts. Creepers, please just explode and not do anything, dude. Yes. Okay, wait, let me look at the enderman here. Okay, I looked at him. Oh! Oh my gosh, wait, can he get through here? Oh, he definitely can! Go, Grazer, go! Oh, oh, I'm owning him! Yeah, we got an ender pearl! <laughs> Give me that! Oh yeah, baby! And oh my goodness, yes! We've already found gold! What kind of vein is it? Uh, no, it's just a vein of four. Oh no, I just realized because I'm small, I can't save that gold! <laughs> No! Are you serious? <gasps> Finally! Yes! We found diamonds! Come here, diamonds, please! Okay, so first things first, we need to make a pickaxe to get the obsidian to go to the nether. But secondly, I would love to make that diamond chisel. How many do we have here? Please be at least a solid vein. There's at least three. We got diamonds! Yes! Oh my goodness, there's four. That's perfect. That's three for the pick, one for the chisel. And is there a fifth? Nope. So right away, we'll go ahead. We'll make that diamond chisel. And there it is. This should last us a long while because if you guys remember, the stone chisels had like 8,000 durability. These have 290,000 durability. And these guys, well, if I use this real quick, bing, 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 bang, it has 795,000 durability. This thing's gonna last me for days. Okay, so now we also have to just go back to vanilla for a second, make that diamond pig, and let's find ourselves an obsidian. Now we can have the obsidian ultra long mining session because I'm super tiny. Bam, that should be enough. And now it's about how are we going to make this thing with how small we are. If I just fall down, bam. Okay, so we have our portal. Oh my gosh, looks so funky. Wait, is that tall enough? Yes, 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 that's tall enough. So we have another portal. I hear a skeleton nearby. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, I do still hear a skeleton though. Now it lights. Okay, there we go. All right, into the nether we go. Oh, we're here in the nether. Oh my gosh, we're so tiny. The nether is so big and oh my goodness. Okay, wait, is that a fortress? Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, dude. My portal is literally right there. You can see it behind the lava. And I think that might be the blaze spawner up there. So we'll go inside. Peekaboo. Hello, blaze. How are you doing, brother? Ah, 
Ah! This low key makes killing blazes like 10 times easier. They can't get me from down here. Oh my goodness. I just dug up into an ocean, but I'm not taking any water damage. Hold on. By the way, look at this. This is me mining up with my little chisel thing. So we're low on food. I have no more. Oh, now I'm taking water damage and... Wait, now I- No, now I'm not! Hold on! So I can be underneath the water? This is not part of the ocean right here, but then I become a part of it, and now I'm not. So this actually poses a problem because, uh, well, we're very tiny, and I'm about to have to swim all the way up. This is why we have double the hearts. Go! Oh my gosh! We're going so slow. We're almost out of oxygen. No, 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 no. And I think it's raining out too. This couldn't be worse. Okay, we're about to start losing hearts. No, please, go quicker, quicker. Oh my gosh, we're going too slow. Go, Grazer, are making to the top. We're gonna run out of hearts, go! Yeah! Oh my gosh, we have four hearts remaining. That was so close. Too close for comfort. Okay, let's get back to the surface, man. Look at us! And yes, it stopped raining. We're back at the village. Okay, come here, sheep. So I want to kill the sheep because obviously I want their mutton, but also I want their wool because they can give me enough wool to make a bed and beds are good against the ender dragon. Hey, die! Get out of here! So we'll eat on some nice raw mutton and in the uh, nether, I got seven blaze rods. That's usually enough. I'm actually going to go ahead and convert it all into blaze powder now and we'll make an eye of ender and get the trajectory of this thing real quickly and <sighs> wait where did it go oh my gosh it was on the other side of the village building so it went this way then i guess or this way so that's the direction of the stronghold dude being tiny is literally op man i am having the time of my life killing blazes endermen all the sort because they just can't get me die yes give me those ender pearls oh there's another one over there oh my gosh there's endermen all over this place Get over here. Feed me the pearls. We're up to seven eyes. Beauty. Okay, this is a good, good... I mean, basically, we can find the rest in the stronghold if we need. It's still going this way. Please, 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 please. Yes, it's dropping. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. <gasps> oh, wait a second. The Eye of Ender. It just went, like, right over here. Does this mean we passed the stronghold? Oh, it landed all the way on top of this hill right here. Okay, so the stronghold is right beneath us. I mean, I still need string because I need a bow before we do anything here. Okay, so hold on. We need to find a couple spiders. No, he just ruined the body part. Oh, no. He just he just destroyed one of my armor pieces. No, 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 no. And there's another one. Okay, actually, I need you because you didn't drop enough string. Please, you drop enough string. Please, 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 please. No. I lost my leggings and I'm about to lose my chest plate. Uh-oh. Yes. Okay, now I have enough for a bow and... Well, we just need iron left. Let's go back to where the stronghold was. We'll dig down there. And then, uh, well, we'll get iron and get into the end. Never dig straight down, and especially if you're tiny, but I'm doing it anyways. Oh my gosh. Oh, we found a cave, and there's the iron, baby. And wait, there's no stronghold yet, but there's mobs over there. Uh-oh. Creeper, no. Yes, he saved me, and I got arrows. Please tell me it's actually here, though. I didn't come all this way and do all this work. Yeah! Oh, my gosh! That was the most dramatic entrance to a stronghold in any video ever. That was dope. And we have our first chest. All right, what do you got? Yes! Two ender pearls. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we have nine of a potential 12, but we may only need two more because there's sometimes one filled in and here's another one what do you have for us dear oh only one and i heard a show <gasps> yeah okay it's here i was like i heard a silverfish so i found the actual end room itself and there's a silverfish after me and when you're this small they're actually like crazy scary get out of here yes there is another chest here okay give me what i need yeah only one but a lot of food okay the food is where we're hitting the jackpot here okay wait so if we combine these guys that's 11 total we would i didn't check to see if there was one filled in or not we might still need one more okay destroy this thing now go 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 destroy it yes okay no more silverfish problems and do we have any filled in uh, and we do <gasps> okay we can get into the end light it up okay well this is what it was ultimately gonna come down to i have no idea how i'm going to actually beat this dragon I could use some arrows first, though, before I go in. So come here, skeleton. It's time for you to get tiny to death. You're gonna go. Goodbye. Die. All right, thank you for the arrows. Here we go. Oh 
my goodness. How on earth am I going to block across? This is going to be the scariest block across. Dude, just take this in. Look how small I am in this big And there's the dragon. And we did it. Okay. Oh, and here we are. Okay. All right. Enderman all around. I don't want to mess with you guys anymore. Why do you want to mess with me? I never even looked at you, bro. All right. I'm going into my tiny hole where you can't get me. All right. The coast is clear. Here we go. Let's take care of business. Can I even reach these things from down here? Is it even possible? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I saved myself with one block. And we're up. Okay. Wait. So, can we just break this thing from here? Oh, okay. I got it. Oh, my gosh. He's shooting a dragon's breath. Can we perform the clutch? Can we perform the clutch? <gasps> we did. What the heck was that? He just went face first into the ground. Wait, I have an idea. If I go up right to where his head is, and I put a bed, like, right here, and I right click it. Oh! Oh, but I killed him! I died by an enderman, but I killed him! I hear the noises, but I think I failed. Dude, this was too hard. I'm never doing this video again.